Hello. What you're seeing is a small block of Rapashi Super Green. It's a food that you get in powdered form and essentially make into, well, fish or shrimp jello. I mean, that's, that's basically what it comes down to. Uh, you're seeing two uh, orange eyed blue uh, tigers and you're seeing some cherry shrimp <clears throat> off they go you may notice that the uh, substrate in my tank is very loose and easily stirred uh, that's silt uh, this is a dirted tank and uh, sometimes the the snails and such that, that go through the substrate will bring that up to the surface with them so that and plants being moved and any number of other things uh, as you can see there's a great deal of interest there from the the white clouds for some reason they just absolutely love this stuff but they they typically don't come over to it if the shrimp are there almost like they're afraid of the shrimp oh geez here comes an amano He's caught the scent, so he's going to come barreling in here at any second. Or maybe not. Now he's going away. I know the female came in about like that. But, uh, I think it's just interesting. You know, these are three different species here. I think that that's a Caridina tiger, and that's a Neocaridina davidi. David I. And here comes the Amano. Oh, that's the, the female. She bursts through like a bus. There's no stopping her. Fish, shrimp, snails, doesn't matter. She goes right through them to get what she wants. She's buried as can be over there. But we get these all these shrimp and we got a couple different species, three different species of fish in this tank and everybody seems to get along really well. That makes me happy because I wanted this to be a peaceful natural tank. The, uh, the smaller of the two orange eyes there is a male, the larger is a female and he was trying to mate with her a little bit ago. She ain't having none of that though. Look how red that red cherry is. I bought that as a low grade uh, cherry from a, a breeder over in Akron, Ohio, and she really hooked me up with some with some nice shrimp. Actually, uh, they uh, the females in particular have really gotten bright. Now you might see a little bit of, it almost looks like mold there, when the, uh, when the Crypt Wenty over here was melting, it dropped a few leaves there, and I think they just broke down and maybe fed a little bit of mold, but everything's, everything's getting along really, really well. Oh, and we've got a third blue in there. See that? is a blue dream. So that's another uh, Neocaridina Davidi. Just carrot color variations between that red and that blue shrimp. Oh shit he bit him. That's the first I've ever seen that. No harm no foul I guess. He's right back in there. I think that saddle was drawing their attention. The color contrast. But typically they show almost no interest in the shrimp whatsoever. And uh, just basically let them go about their, their business. But there's food involved so there's going to be some competition. But, uh, we'll let these guys do their thing. Maybe we'll come back to it in a little while. Back again, more shrimp.
I only have four orange eyes in here, um, but uh, three of them have shown up here together, so I think that's pretty cool. And that red got bit again. I fed the <laughs> I fed the white clouds at the top, uh, but they don't seem to be wanting to go up there and get the food. Actually, I misspoke earlier. There's actually four species of fish in this tank. There's one tiny little celestial pearl danio by himself. So the CPD, the white clouds, both standard and golden. We have a couple auto in there. Oh, I forgot. I was going to say, yeah, I was wrong. There, There is three. I forgot that the the lone threadfin rainbow fish passed away. He was such a pretty little guy. You can see a food pellet there off to the right floating down. No, well, they're up there eating now. Let's see. There they are. Sorry for this thing whiting out. It is not the best camera, and I'm using a rather bright little light here to light that area since it's so dark down there at the substrate. If I throw enough light at it to light the bottom then I just have mounds of algae. Right. One big ram's horn that I've got coming in. That ram's horn finally made it down, so I'm just kind of curious as to what's going to happen here. Decided I'd film it. Oh, and check out this red cherry here with the stripe. Oops. It focused on the right spot. My phone is not being cooperative. And neither is the shrimp. Alright, screw it. We'll go back here. Quite a feast going on. Snail's not causing any issues. Everyone's happy. Ah, oh, there. We get a good look at her. That stripe it really shows up under this light. I, I had not noticed that before. When I got her, she did not have that. Now the grumbling shrimp begins. Fighting over the little pieces. <laughs> 